like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. Ah, uh, it's so nice to be home. You have 113 new messages. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm, well, where the newspaper boy was. <coughs> Haven't seen a newspaper in a couple days. Wondering if you ever gonna come back. <coughs> Guess who? Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here. Thinking about the muscle on paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. Where are you? Oh, you're starting to piss me off, you little piglet son of a bitch. Call me. No right. cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. No offense, Mr. Herbert, but I'm a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Well, no offense to you, Meg, but you're a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mind Hi, I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Mr. Herbert, it's six o'clock. I'm, I'm not really tired yet. Well, you had those three cups of NyQuil. You'll be down soon enough. Okay. Good night, Mr. Herbert. Sweet dreams, Chris. Mr. Herbert, what's life really all about? Well, I suppose it's about trying new things. Sampling the sweet and the savory. Not being afraid to take everything life wants to throw up on into you. Wow, I never looked at it like that before. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. But don't you think it's scary to try new things? No, Chris. Life is like a new baseball glove. At first, you think you're never going to get a ball in there. But then you oil it up, work your fingers around in there a little, and pretty soon, you're pitching and catching. I guess that makes sense. Sorry. You really know how to waste a Cialis, don't you? I thought I told you to clean up in here. And why aren't you dressed? We're supposed to have dinner with Judge Maynard and Timmy. Yeah, okay. As soon as I finish this level. No. Get your coat on. It's a three-hour drive to that cabin. Can you just cook something here? Excuse me? I am not going to cook you dinner while you sit here in your own mess playing your TV games. Oh, and the martyr returns. Chris, I... I think it's time for you to go. Okay, I'll go. But I want you to know, I faked all my lightheadedness. Mmm, good Kool-Aid. Whoa, whoa. Sound familiar?